Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome back to Space Tyrant. So we're the Berserk Union, and we're gonna go for the Victor's Robes. Ten credits whenever I win a battle. That could actually help a lot. Alternatively, well, hmm. I don't know. I don't know which is better. The extra income is nice later. Later, though. Unfortunately, we just have, like, the generic stuff for a little while. Savior of the Hive. It comes to, the, to rescue the Hive with a large fleet. Interesting. So does that just get me a hero? Maybe it does. I don't know. Let's get going. I, I've i been kind of anticipating this for a while. I've heard that the Berserk Union might actually be fairly good. I was I was a little bit hesitant about it. Uh, the whole, like, weak ships thing scares me. But maybe it's, maybe it's not actually the case. Oh, geez, that's a lot of money. All right. You know, maybe maybe this will this will work out well, especially because we get a barracks right off the bat. Okay. Well, one way or another, that does mean that I can get some conscripts fairly quick, which will be nice. Uh, seeing as I got a little bit of money. Oh, is my fleet? Is he just a higher level, or is my fleet usually just this much bigger? Okay. So cruiser, beam never misses. Hex shot, two power, one big hex shot. Versus increased fire, fighter damage for a little while. We have the destroyer. Does blast air. Fires another volley. Another volley. So there's blaster and there's beam. Okay. Well. I guess I'm just gonna... Oh, jeez. The frigates are cheap. I mean, just in general. Alright. I guess we'll find out. At least we get a bigger fleet for this one. So hopefully uh, we can just use numbers to our advantage. Okay, what does Skirmish Line do? Oh, Skirmish Line is a damage bonus for my entire team. Well, that's helpful. At least as far as I can tell, that's what it does. Unfortunately, it does not look like these guys get shields either. Oh, that sucks. What is with the Skull and Crossbones? That's worrying. I... Alright. Guess we'll find out. So let's do Titan Grip and Titan Grips. Uh, Titan grip, not gripped. What am I? I don't know. Might as well make as much money as I possibly can. All right, strike patrol adds two frigates to the fleet. Sure. Oh, hold on. There we go. At least put the destroyers in the front. Though I'm not entirely sure if the destroyers are as um. As beefy in this one. I, I'll have to look at the stats after this planet. But right now, we really don't have much of a choice. Regardless. But that's okay. I like the animations for them. Like, they look neat. Okay, so growing threat. Oh, I should have looked at that. Anyway, fleet size is bigger. Fast labs. Yeah, I wonder if we still hit the uh, max fleet size. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. Right, I'm gonna blast these guys. That works. Should maybe hold on to the tyranny. Eh, the unrest is still about the same, so I don't know. I I'm in this kind of like weird, not f oh, well. Oh well. So we got Titan grip, or I'm just gonna do that. It's probably a little bit wasteful, but worth it. And I'm just gonna keep advancing. We're gonna we're gonna be able to hire a new fleet anyway. Maybe shields are halved, or no, I'll just do that. I always feel like my enemies specifically have uh, more shields than I do. Whoops! Well, oh, lost one. That's okay. Now I'm really curious what the skull and crossbones do. I assume it just is a zero. Nothing more, nothing less. Mesmerizing life form. Okay, so we get psionic. Unfortunately, that means I can't hire a fleet, but that's that's fine. I should probably... Um, well, let's take a look at this. So, 312, 125, 450, and 500. So, it does look like the destroyers are still kind of tanky for small ships. I should have waited a little bit longer. Okay, so extra fleet flak. 
extra fighters or extra health. Let's do extra health, seeing as they're my front line. I'm being a little bit inefficient here, but I want to take this prison planet. Uh, we can buy this these guys later. Oh, good. Scapegoat. My favorite. And we get extra damage, extra fleet flak, or extra fighters. Extra fighters. Admittedly, my cruisers in this fleet are actually fairly decent. I guess we'll just do ship and vulnerable for a little while. Make you invulnerable for a bit. Life is good. Gotta remember, growing threat is actually like a really, really solid uh, ability. Okay. So we got that up there. We don't have enough money yet. I'll hire my fleet in a moment. Okay, so landing party, well, let's toss that, hire this fleet, got a hundred left. Oops, that's not the button I pressed. Do we want to just pick up a carrier? We'll go with that. Most amount of ships I can jam pack in here. Carriers are kind of more useful on, uh... Carriers are specifically more useful on, um... Oh, damage boost. Wait, so is it the same thing? I'll... I really should take a look at some of these guys. They're actually hurting me pretty bad. Holy crap. This could be a problem. It should be fine. I mean, we get a lot of money per turn already, which is super helpful. Act planet. What do we got? Okay, so I can just loot it. Uh, let's pass on that. Oh, we've got a... Oh. I'm dumb. I'm sorry. It looks like Growing Thread is just a straight-up damage bonus. No real, uh... No real questions about it. Yeah, I forgot to finish invading there. Uh, sometimes I just check out... Luckily, we're on the uh, we're on the easiest difficulty mission, so the chances of me losing this are slim to freaking none, which helps. Uh, let's do a landing landing party on this planet. Nothing discovered. Well, I guess we'll end up looting both anyway. It's not that big of a deal. Hostile takeover is actually kind of neat. Effectively, uh, does siege damage based on how much uh, income I have, which is actually kind of stupid useful. All right, fighter boost e damage extends to all friendly fighters. Oh, potency, health per second, or I'm gonna try organic armor on these guys. I don't really know if it's worth it. Okay. Oh, and that was his turn. Alright. I'm gonna head down here momentarily, though we've got militia rolling in, which is kind of rough. Are these guys even worth it? I have no idea. I'm gonna do it anyway, because fleets are scary. but also right next to my home world, so also scary. <sighs> Agitators. Okay. Are you gonna strike patrol? Well, I guess I might as well strike patrol the, this guy. Another destroyer. Well, we're getting some big fleets like right off the bat, which is super helpful. All right, let's finish invading this. Gets a Shocktopus. Does Shocktopus actually have interesting abilities? I have no idea. Let's discuss racing with the champ. And we get some EXP. Nice. All right. Uh, this fleet's probably better. Actually, both fleets are probably fine if I just load them up. Ah. There's my answer. Well... I guess I'm going to have to chuck this fleet at the problem first. 
They might and or probably will die, but... At least, uh, we'll take some of them so the next group can do okay. We're getting hammered. I don't know how aiming hex shot specifically is supposed to work here. Alright, uh, I guess I'm just gonna speed it up, do what I can. Lose most of these guys. This, These fleets are rough. But that's okay. They're wounded. Okay, let's do reinforcements and shield walls. Less than helpful. I'll take it anyway. I really do not understand hex shot in the slightest. I'll use it anyway, but still. Okay. Yeah, I think I will start going for carriers instead of cruisers for these. Let's take my planet back. It's mine. Damn it. There we go. And then we'll take one of my fleets and go back up the other direction. I guess the other guy's going to respawn fairly quick. I got the ability to loot. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just lazy these guys. Considering they pose a uh, not in insubstantial threat to me. That's it. I don't have anything else I can immediately do. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, what kind of fleet are we looking at? Eh, it's a fleet, and there's agitators. Good stuff. I mean, honestly, we're gonna win anyway. Just... Now we... I guess this adds two frigates to the fleet. I guess I'll just get another destroyer. I could get the little frigates, but I think this will be fine. Uh, I'm gonna bring my fleets back. My main fleet can keep uh, smashing face up here. Oh, that's healed to full. Let's see, can I hex shot? Yeah, we can start hex shotting. I probably gotta. Re I, I really gotta remember to use growing threat. Like it is actually like a super good ability. I just I I forget because I'm very distractible. Okay. Uh, anything else? Nope. So agitators is going to be a nuisance. Not a big one, but nuisance. All of these are going to be nuisances. Would have been really, honestly, hilarious bad if, if we'd, uh, if they'd managed to roll well on the siege die. Okay, so militia has, has been revived. Get a pair of carriers. Get rid of the these in the back and throw on some frigates. Good luck. You're probably going to die because my fleets are terrible. Ish. Just immediately power up, damage boost, and start hex shotting people. At least the fighters are pretty good. Yeah, okay, carriers carriers are the way to go again. Hex shot just is not worth it, especially uh, if I can get the tech that gives me the the global fighter boost ability. I wonder if you can actually stack the effects. The interesting question. Probably not. Okay, so planet captured. Personal combat. Fight the duel. We get duelist and some tyranny. Yes. Alright. Yeah. Okay, so a decent distance away. Do we have any other, like, actually worrisome fleets? No. I guess I'll just go after them. 
That didn't work out as well as I thought it was going to, but that's that's okay. And of course, they're going to ally, and we're going to have things to worry about. So what's this one? Oh, if we lose a bunch. This is, yeah, after losing three space battles. That's how he, that's how he shows up. Alright, well, I'm just going to stun one of these guys. There we go. Starting to kind of understand this fleet. And I'm really liking the defensive capabilities that I can throw onto my destroyers. It feels good. They're really not here for... They're not here for damage. They're, they're not even supposed to really fight. They're just supposed to be there to tank damage for everybody else. Alright, so fighter boost extends or fleet flag? Fighter boost extends. Absolutely want that. Alright, let's get rid of these agitators. Probably should have spent my money first, but that's okay. Uh, let's just cut his fire rate for reasons. There we go. And we got some just easy to take little planets here. Yeah, so the uh, the skull and crossbones is is just straight up a zero. All right, I was wondering about that. Yeah. Well, isn't that convenient? And we get a trade world. It'll take a little bit to take, but yeah, we're in a a nice little corner of the uh, the galaxy here. Anybody else? Yeah, we got you. Deploying militia. Well. Let's get some more uh, carriers up in this group. Actually, let's let's get rid of these little guys. Let's let's just do nothing but carriers, seeing as we know they're kind of I'm not maybe not overpowered, but uh, yeah, they're probably overpowered. Because yeah, I can just damage boost all of my like little dudes constantly. Oh hey, I can do a hostile takeover. Eh. Is there anywhere that looks like it's properly defensible? The answer is no. I'll just do that so you can start moving again. Also, lots of money. Okay. Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to appreciate this this faction as much as the bunnies. But oh, you know what? These guys don't get shields either. Now that I'm thinking about it, I might be able to do some pretty nuts things with that. Alright, so let's let's get rid of the little guys. I'm gonna double down really hard. On this, uh, on this strategy. Kinda cuts my immediate damage in favor of, uh... Some serious harm. Okay, let's do Growing Threat. And Fighter Blaze. And Fighter Blaze. And fighter blaze. Oh, this could work real well. That's also that's also the enemy fleet. And the game crashed. Son of a. Well, I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of Space Tyrant, because I think I'm going to have to start over, and that's really annoying. So, I guess I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.